talking about uh, a simple topic is diabetes a uh, family disease so uh, diabetes actually diabetes mellitus is a complex disease which is characterized by persistent hyperglycemia so the two most common forms of diabetes are type 1 uh, diabetes and type 2 diabetes both are caused by genetic and uh, environmental factors which triggers uh, the disease and then um, uh, however there are other rare forms of diabetes that are directly inherited these include maturity onset diabetes of the young and diabetes due to mutations in mitochondrial dna so genetic factors make some people more vulnerable to the disease uh, to the diabetes but the genetic cause for diabetes uh, genetic cause for diabetes um, that is not the only reason uh, which can cause uh, diabetes there are other factors like lifestyle diet and environment which also aggravates the condition you inherit a predisposition to the disease then something in your environment triggers it so genes alone are not enough diabetes in women so diabetes can be actually especially very hard on women compared to men women with diabetes are also more likely to have a heart attack at a younger age compared to men and then on also compared to women without diabetes so diabetes increases the risk of heart disease the most common diabetes complication by about four times in women than in men but uh, by, and women have worse outcomes after a heart attack women are also at higher risk of developing other diabetes related complications such as blindness kidney disease and depression so diabetes in pregnant women can affect both the mother and the uh, and their unborn children diabetes can also cause difficulties during pregnancy such as miscarriage or uh, like you no know, or ba babies which are born with uh, abnormalities or birth defects talking shortly about diabetic emergency and uh, what is diabetic emergency it is actually the reason for diabetic emergency is because the treatment for uh, diabetes is insulin and insulin is the major treatment for diabetes the incidence of too much or too little insulin is common life threatening occurrence too much insulin causes low blood glucose that is hypoglycemia which can lead to insulin shock and insufficient insulin causes blood glucose to become too high leading to hyperglycemia which can call lead to diabetic coma so reviewing signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia versus hyperglycemia helps remove the challenge of determining if a person's blood sugar is too low or too high and if for diabetic emergency the treatment has to be given very fast otherwise it can lead to life threatening consequences